Yo, it's a gorgeous Friday. What the fuck? You guys are having a gorgeous Friday. I have a bum elbow. I was advised to do this movement with a light weight with the intent of rehabbing it. So, we'll see how that goes. Damn, I feel strong as fuck right now. Oh, symmetry. You gotta do both sides too. I was supposed to do two sets of 12, but I probably did like 25. Oh, I feel that burn, baby. Six, seven, my dogs are looking at me like, what the fuck? Eight, nine, 10, 11, and last one, 12. Woo, yeah, that feels really good. See, I, I do more than just CrossFit, guys. I do this stuff too. Today is a fucking blessing because I finally get to close a chapter on an ordeal which I've been dealing with since October. So October, November, December, about three months where I've been having to deal with identity theft. Identity theft blows big time. If you've never dealt with it, trust me, it, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, you have to have patience. You need to be persistent, disciplined on how you, you, you keep your emotions. You don't want to panic. I think those were the key things for me to be able to deal with this bullshit. So uh, let's go take a walk. We're gonna go to the bank. Oh, heavy. Once again, it's another beautiful day outside. It was a little chilly this morning, but it's kind of warmed up a little bit, so I don't have to wear a jacket today. So my current institution is uh, Bank of America. Nothing against the employees of Bank of America. But Bank of America as a service, particularly in the fraud division, they fucking suck. It's very slow, very slow process. I mean, the amount of time that it took for them to actually get my funds uh, credited back to me, three fucking months went by. And during that time, we had Thanksgiving, we had Christmas, you know? Uh, but yeah, it was very slow. But. You know what, I'm thankful that I finally got my shit back. It wasn't a fun time. It was definitely a challenging time. But a challenging time that I would repeat again. Just because it was, and it's that theme again, the unknown. Never had this happen to me before. Didn't know how I would respond to it. But, with a little bit of help, and a lot of faith, Things were cool. So during this ordeal, I actually did learn a lot of new things, uh, particularly with the way I, I dealt with people. When all this shit went down the first time, I was infuriated. I was very, very upset. I was ready to rip another asshole on any individual that was involved in helping me out because that's how pissed off I was. And I'm pretty sure you would be too, especially when you got all your funds taken away from you. So... <clears throat> I escalated, right? After after the first representative that I spoke to concerning this situation, I escalated immediately to the manager. And, yo, that manager just killed me with kindness. And then it got me thinking, damn, I'm an asshole. And I don't want to be an asshole, right? If you want to get something done, you can't be an asshole about it. So that sort of, that was an epiphany for me, right? Instead of using anger to fuel... Um, getting things done. I used solid judgment, better thinking and better critical skills. Wait, 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 better critical thinking skills, that's what I meant. And uh, you know what? I was able to actually get it, get the ball rolling. Now, once I finally got the investigation um, underway, that was completely out of my control. I couldn't do anything about it except for be patient. In an effort to be persistent though, I consistently followed up. I was working with the same rep. Uh, that's consistency right there. Working with the same person because they walk that journey with you, right? So so big ups to the representative that helped me through this ordeal. I mean, he, he exemplified patience. Patience that I couldn't even, you know, deal with. And it's funny because like the amount of 
empathy. It actually made me feel good as a customer. So, so yes, be empathetic. That's something that I learned. Uh, whenever somebody's going through an issue, uh, be empathetic. Being sympathetic, cool. But if you can, you can, you know, be in the shoes of that person. I feel like that's a more effective way of helping somebody cope with a problem. Uh, take that as a piece of wisdom that I gained over the past uh, few months. So um, I'm gonna party hard after this. I'm gonna party hard. I picked up a book called The Way of the Superior Man. I'm gonna stick my nose in that for a few hours and I'm gonna get me a good ass cup of coffee. No cream, no sugar, baby. <laughs> oh shit. My name is not Alexis. <laughs> Whoops. Time to go back. Let's rectify this issue real quick. Sorry, ma'am, I picked up the wrong cup. This is for an Alexis. Oh, hey. I'm sorry about that. I can make you another one. Oh, it's okay. I'll take this if you didn't have it. I didn't have it. Is this, uh, that your brewed coffee? This is? Yeah. All right, appreciate it. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay.